So it's not just looking beautiful on our website, but it's actually going to entice the website visitors to read the entire blog post because now they will be able to see how much they have read and how much is left. After all, it's called a progress bar. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add a reading progress bar on our WordPress website. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. We are going to use the plus add-ons for Gutenberg and in that we have reading scroll progress bar block and here we have various options that we can use. For example, we can have this vertical progress bar. If we scroll down on the page, we can see the progress bar is on the left hand side and we can see as we scroll down, the progress bar is going down. In the same way, we have the conventional horizontal on the page top progress bar. So if we scroll down, this is how it's going to look. After that, we have layout three where we can show the progress bar on the right hand side. Along with that, we have a different style of showing the percentage progress here. After that, we have another option where we can only show the percentage and the progress bar will be in a circular form. So if we scroll down on this page, we can see the progress bar in this circular form and the percentage increasing in the middle of that circle. And we have lot more options that you can play around with depending upon your website design. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can implement this reading scroll bar on our WordPress site. So here we are in our WordPress backend. And if you go in the plugin section, here we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version. But you can add this reading progress bar by just using the free version of the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And just to mention, it's not just the reading progress bar. The plus add-ons for Gutenberg is a huge library of 85 plus blocks that you can use to create some amazing looking Gutenberg websites. But right now, let's see how we can use this to add a reading progress bar. So after installing and activating our plugin, we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here let's search for progress. And here we have the progress tracker block. And as you can see, it's part of the free plugin. And now we just need to turn on this block and then click on save. So now we are ready with our block. Let's go ahead and see how we can add this on our site. So let's say we open any blog post here and let's say we edit this one. If we check this blog post in the front end, right now we do not see any progress bar. It's a simple plain blog post with a very long content on it. Now, in order to add this reading progress bar, all you have to do is just click on the editor anywhere on this page. And then we just need to search for progress. So here is our progress tracker block. Let's click on this. And now as soon as we add this block, we can see some settings on the right hand side. So here the first option is type. So we can choose horizontal, vertical or circular. So right now we will go with horizontal only. And then we need to choose the position of this progress bar. So here we can choose the top or the bottom. So let's stick with top for now. And then we have the direction option. Either we want left to right or we want the progress bar as right to left. So conventionally it's done on left to right. So let's go with that. And now we have an option to apply to. Here we have two options, entire page or a selector. If we select entire page, this progress bar will be applied for the progress of entire page. But if we go with selector, here we can enter a unique class ID for any element of our blog post or page. And then this reading progress bar will only work for that selector. But most of the time you want to keep it on entire page. And after that, you can also turn on the percentage. Now, how you want to show this percentage, we can choose the style option. We have style one and style two. So let's first see how the style one looks. So after doing all these settings, let's click on update here and let's see how this looks in the front end. So now refresh this page here. And now we can see we have a progress bar on the top of our page. If we start scrolling at the bottom, we can see our progress bar moving ahead. Along with that, we can also see the percentage number showing here. 
If we come back here and now let's see what style 2 does. So we change this to style 2. Let's update the page again and refresh it in the front end. So now we can see the progress bar is showing as it is, but the percentage is now outside our progress bar. So you can choose any of these styles. So these are just the settings for this reading progress bar. Now we can move on to the style tab in order to make it look more compatible to our website theme. So here we have the first option, the track. We can increase or decrease the size. So if we decrease it a little bit, we can see the size of the progress bar right inside our WordPress backend. So if we increase this, it's going to get broader. And if we decrease, it will start reducing to a thin line. And then we can change the background as well. So let's say we want the empty space background. So we can change the color from here. So maybe we can do something like this. If you want, you can add some border or maybe you can add some border radius. And for the fill part, again, you can change the background color and then you can customize your percentage section. You can change the typography, you can change the text color and the padding and other settings. So you can do all the changes and styling to make it compatible as per your website design. And once we are done, just click on update and let's refresh this page once again. So this is how it looks after we done our styling. Now, do we need to paste this every time when we write a blog post? The answer is no. Let's go ahead and remove this progress bar from here. And now let's update this post. Now here we have two options. Either we can put this in our website header so that this progress bar will be visible on entire website, on our blog post as well as on static pages. Now, of course, we will be using our Nexter builder to create our custom header. So here we have our header. If we click on edit, we can just paste this progress bar block here. And if we click on update and then refresh our front end once again, so we can see the progress bar is still here. But now if we go on any other page of our website, let's say we click on about us, we can see the progress bar here as well. And the reason is obvious because we have added our progress bar on our website header. So it's going to be visible on all the pages of our website. Now there could be a case where you want to show this progress bar only on your blog posts. So for that, you can just remove this from header. Let's update this here. And then we just need to create a new template using our Nexter builder specifically for designing our single blog post pages. And then we paste this progress bar on top of that. And that is going to add this reading progress bar only on our blog post. So this is how you can use the plus add-ons for Gutenberg to add these amazing reading progress bars on your WordPress website. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you watch these videos here in order to learn more about how you can use the plus add-ons for Gutenberg to create some amazing looking websites. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.